You've got one permanent set, 32 teeth. Want to keep them? Then discover where's the sugar in your diet. Stop! I know what you're thinking. This is some type of healthy food video. No, it's a simple experiment that can help you keep a perfect smile. Several studies have shown that Americans eat as much as 150 pounds of sugar per year. That's 40 teaspoons a day. Sugar is a carbohydrate. Carbs are important for good health, but it's the simple sugars, the ones often found in processed food and drinks that can cause this, tooth decay. Soft drinks have sugar in them, and chips and cereal are carbohydrates, which are also sugars. So the germs that cause cavities take those sugars and they turn them into acid. And that acid is what actually eats away the tooth and causes the hole or the cavity in the tooth. The key is discovering how much sugar is in the food you eat. How do you know? It starts with the nutrition label, that little information box that's found on every food product. The label tells you exactly what's in the food you're about to eat or drink. Move down to the sugar line. This soft drink contains 46 grams of sugar. A gram is a weight measurement, but how much is a gram? Four grams equals one teaspoon. Do the math. If four grams is one teaspoon, then 46 grams equals 11 and a half teaspoons. Wow, just one drink. Let's try another. It's a juice box. This drink contains 26 grams of sugar. Do the math. Four grams equals one teaspoon, so 26 grams divided by four equals six and a half teaspoons. With the formula, it's easy to calculate sugar in any food item. Take cereal. One serving of this cereal contains 12 grams or three teaspoons. While this one only has one gram, that's not even a teaspoon, a much better choice. What about this fruit snack? Six grams in just seven little snacks, that's one and a half teaspoons. Plus, these snacks are sticky. They stick to your teeth and dentists say these are not a good fruit choice. You've got the math, we've got the sugar, but why does it matter? Now, the science. When we put sugar in our mouth, it feeds the bacteria, the little germs that always live in our mouth. And when these germs get a hold of the sugar that we give them, they make acid. And we know that acid is something that can eat holes in things, including our teeth. So, we all have plaque in our mouth, that bacteria that keeps forming. When you eat something with sugar, the sugar acts as a food source to help the plaque grow. It's a quick attack. Sugar helps plaque grow within 20 minutes. But when we brush our teeth, we remove the sugar that we've put on our teeth by eating it, but we also are removing the plaque that's accumulated on our teeth during the course of the day. And remember, it's the combination of the plaque and the sugar that make acid that eat holes in our teeth. The other thing that we gain by brushing our teeth is that we're applying fluoride to our teeth, which actually makes the surface of the tooth harder and stronger and less likely to be damaged by the acid. Also, rethink your drink. Water can wash away the sugar. Water from a water utility often contains fluoride. You don't need a bottle of water, just fill up at the tap. The problem with sugar, it can add up. Think about it. A breakfast pastry and a juice drink in the morning, cookies with lunch, a sports drink after school, and a soft drink at night, that's 27 teaspoons of sugar in just a day. So the more often that you are eating those cereals, those chips, drinking those soft drinks, the more acid you're gonna have on the teeth and the more likely you are to develop a cavity. The key is moderation. Limit processed foods and drinks with high sugar content. What's good for your body is good for your teeth. Water, milk, fruits and vegetables are all good, healthy choices. So, where's the sugar? Not in this mouth. <laughs>